Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be answering the question what's the best way to learn Blender? I'll be looking at the difference between free courses and paid for courses. It's worth saying that the content of this video complements that of Curtis Holt's video. He's done a couple in fact which talk about getting into Blender and the best ways to learn Blender and they are fantastic videos for giving you a great guide. This video kind of continues that discussion and discusses whether paid for courses or free courses are going to suit you and is one better than the other. I also want to reiterate what Curtis Holt was saying about visiting the official Blender YouTube channel. That is definitely the best place to start off. The only thing that that is missing is you're not completing a project, you're just going through instructional videos. So I was contacted recently by Zacharias Reinhardt from CG Boost, who has a paid for course, and he asked me if I could promote his course, and I thought that'd be interesting to compare free courses to paid courses. So it's worth saying the link in the description to the CG Boost course is an affiliated link, so you'll be supporting my channel if you click on that link. And I've got to say, when I first looked at the course, I was really shocked at how good it was. I was a bit disappointed in my own channel after seeing how detailed and comprehensive that course was. So I can thoroughly recommend it. It looks really amazing. And I looked through a few videos, had a go, and I thought this is, I've got to up my game basically, because this is absolutely phenomenal. It does really well at taking you from a complete beginner stage by stage through and to a pretty decent level I would say and it's nice to have a completed project at the end of the course. It's got a full 15 hours worth of content split into small bite-sized chunks. The course manages to go through so many different aspects of Blender. Modeling, animation, lighting, texturing, rendering, particles. It is really comprehensive. It's currently just over $70 and I would say that is an amazing price for the amount of content you are getting and the level of content. So CG Boost is one place where you can get a paid for course and it's extremely popular and for good reason. Another great place would be CG Cookie and they offer a subscription service and they've got lots and lots of courses on there. I would say I prefer the beginner course from CG Boost, but the amount of courses you can get on CG Cookie is far greater. Being subscription based might suit more people and you can actually get a free trial so you can try out some of the courses. And they do really good beginner courses but they also have very advanced tutorials as well. And they obviously come from an industry background which does help. And that brings me over to free courses. Now the problem you're going to find when you're looking for free courses online is the difference in quality. And you kind of have no way of recommendations or uh, a sort of review process. You can obviously look at the comments and look at how many views it's had, but that's not always a great indicator of how good the course is. I myself kind of struggled through this, although it's much better now than it was 10, 15 years ago when I was first starting. But it can really be a struggle trying to find a sort of stage by stage level that you're at video based on what you're doing at that particular time. But in terms of free courses, there's obviously the free course on my channel and I'm trying to get my website a bit more sorted out. Eventually it will be where it'll be a bit more step by step and there'll be course after course. Eventually we'll get there one day. There's obviously Blender Guru with his donut tutorial, but that obviously only takes you so far as well. Flip Normals is another great channel and they've got a lightsaber and they take you through stage by stage in a beginner process. The other one that I think is quite good is Jan Sculpts. That's a few months old now, but it's still a very decent level. He's a very good teacher as well. And remember, all these links are in the description. But the problem you're going to have is that you'll get to a certain intermediate level and then you'll be jumping around trying to find specific things for the project that you're doing. And that's where it gets quite tough. That's where I quite like the CG Cookie subscription based because you can find a course that's a bit more intermediate or a bit more advanced or a bit more specialist. And that's quite nice really. That's what you're going to struggle to find with the free courses. And in fact, free courses are rare. You're going to get just the one-off video or maybe a couple of videos on a particular topic. But it can be quite tough to get the detail that you really need. Another great site is CG Geek, and he has particular sort of projects that you can go through, and I think that's quite a good approach. You know, sort of pick a project of his, go through it, and he goes through at a fairly basic level, but does some quite advanced things as well. So that's quite a nice one. Maybe if you're a bit more intermediate, you can move across to his channel. So free courses, Blender Guru, CG Geek, Flip Normals, myself, Jan Sculpts, 
And for paid for courses, we've got CG Boost and CG Cookie. But another person I want to mention is Gleb Alexandrov. I've heard some really good things about his hard surface modeling course, which sounds really in depth, but it's a bit more advanced and you don't see that very often with Blender courses. There's lots of intro courses, but that more advanced level is quite hard to come by. So what about other paid for courses on Udemy or Skillshare? Well, I find that much more difficult because you've got the reviews there, but it's very difficult to see what the character or the person is like and whether you're going to click with them or not. If they've got a YouTube channel already, that's quite helpful. And obviously the ones that I've mentioned all have. And you can see the quality of their teaching already on their YouTube channel. And you know that's gonna come across and be even better for their paid for courses. So I'd recommend going down that avenue rather than just taking a stab at something you don't really know. And you can learn all that you need to know from these places. You don't really need to go any extra with a Udemy course in my opinion. But that is my opinion and I haven't actually tried any of those courses to be fair. So they may be even better. So which one's better, paid for or free? Well, obviously the paid for courses are going to be a bit more in depth. They're going to be more detailed, more time's going to be spent on them. And the fact that you will have paid for them, you will probably work harder. There's a psychological thing there that if you've paid for it, you're going to put more effort into it. If it's free, you'll think, oh, I've got that anytime. I'll go back to that at some other point, but it's free, so I don't have to worry. So there is a weird psychology there as well, and it is better to pay for a course, and you will then for you will therefore follow it through. However, it's not really that simple because not everybody has the money to do that. And if you're really motivated, then the free courses, there's no problem with them. There's some really good ones. And if you go by the recommendations that I've suggested, you will do really well, I believe. It definitely becomes more difficult when it comes to more detailed things, such as the hard surface modeling. And that's where you might need to spend a bit of money on something like Gleb Alexandrov's course, the hard surface modeling course that he offers. So hopefully that's enough information for you if you're new to Blender and you're just starting out about where to go. Do check out the links in the description. Do remember that the CG Boost link is an affiliated link. You will be supporting this channel if you click on that. But it is a really fantastic course, which I'm slightly annoyed about because they're doing a better job than I am. Anyway, I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.